it's Manda and I'm coming to you with the swatching video. Today we're going to be swatching, I don't know how many inks we're going to be swatching. I'm doing this on my lunch break like I usually do. Um, I would like to focus on these Vinta Fairy Tale inks because I really want to see what they look like swatched up. So we're definitely going to be doing these five inks. And then I have this baggie of ink samples, which were the leftovers from the shell box that I was trying to get through um, in April that we didn't finish because I, you know, did other things. Apologize for my voice. I'll try to edit out any sniffles or any throat clearing like I just did. Um, I haven't been posting videos because I have been home the last, um, like, week and a half with COVID. <laughs> I'm fine. My my case is very mild. I basically just have some congestion. It feels like I have a cold, um, but I tested positive. Um, and then last last week I tested positive, and um, then I tested positive again uh, Sunday before I was to find out if I could go back to work. I tested positive again on Sunday, so um, it's going through my system. I think in a few more days, if not already today. I'm going to test in a few more days, but um, yeah, I, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine, but I was really tired and still working at home, so I was working at home and my roommate was home because he was also sick, so, so everybody's sick around here and I didn't get a chance to record any videos, so um, roommate is fine, has gone back to work. I am still working from home because, like I said, I had that positive test and they said that I couldn't. They said, um, just take the week home this week and I can come back next week. So, so that's what we're going to do. But I have been working at home and, um, yeah. So I've been, I've, I've been busy with work because work doesn't stop. Um, I was joking with a friend. I can't even COVID, right? Because I'm not sick enough to not work, but I'm not well enough to go to the office but I'm actually very grateful I'm grateful that I have mild symptoms thank you vaccine um and all that so yeah anyway I'm probably not supposed to talk about that on YouTube but whatever it happened I got sick that's why I haven't been around um but today we're definitely gonna be swatching these five inks and I think these will actually go pretty quickly um so I will um I don't know if we'll get to this whole bag of inks but um I do want to I do want to swatch those. I have so much ink to swatch, y'all. I can't even, I can't even tell you. Um, yes, as always, we have coloring cards. I have a random sheet of paper as a background so I don't get my actual, like, dust pad all dirty. Um, I have my Moon Man Mini gloss dip pen and a variety of random paintbrushes from the craft store. I will not be doing swatches in the Hobonichi for this, um, but, uh, yeah, we do have 30 inks coming up in June, which is next week, actually. Um, I have, um, decided that I'm still going to do Pen Friend Appreciation Month, so I'll be using inks from, inks and, um, pens. I don't have enough, I mean... You've all been very generous, but I don't have 30 pen friend pens, so please, and please don't, <laughs> this is not a call for pen friend pens, but um, I'll be using pen friend inks, and I've been cleaning out all my pens, so I will have pen friend pens that will, I will make a priority to slip in here and there, um, so yeah, it's going to be a fun time. It will be kind of a rainbow. I'm going to um, do, uh, we're going to start off with some like neutral inks so some like grays or browns or blacks and then go through the whole rainbow and then end with uh, grays or browns or blacks like new more neutral colors or colors that maybe didn't fit into the actual whole Roy G bib I mean they do fit in there but just not the way that I have chosen the inks so um, yeah it's gonna be super fun I think um, so yeah so I've been ch chatting for like four minutes and um, we haven't watched a single ink so let's get started <laughs> I have a coloring card. I have a glass dip pen. Again, this is the Moon Man N6. I purchased mine from Amazon or eBay or Etsy. I think eBay. Jet Pens was selling them. I don't know if they still are. Um, yeah, you can find them around. Um, they're like, I don't know, between 10 and $20. I think I paid like 21 for this one. Um, and there's also a version where the cap screws to post. I actually prefer that version, but I the nib on mine broke, and I haven't 
change it out. But anyway, yes, let's get started on tank samples. I'm actually gonna, I have this um, ink sample holder that was created for the ink flight. Um, I'm just gonna throw my ink samples there so I have a way to sort of organize them. And then I'm also going to go ahead and use this kitty cat ink sample, which er, it, vial holder. This is actually a toothbrush holder um, that I received from pen friend and uh, from Cassandra and actually I need to clean it. <laughs> it's well used and loved and covered in ink. So let's get started. Um, like I said, we're going to be focusing on the Vinta fairy tale ink series because I got that set not too long ago and uh, wanted to swatch it and haven't gotten around to it yet, but um, yeah. So we have Lack Pay, and I know that these inks have another name, but I'm going to be using the name that's on the label. Um, I will probably save some space so I can write the other name on there. Um, Pag, Pagtangi, Pagtangi, I'm not sure. Um, Lacambini, Lacambini, and Silimbe. Oh, I love this ink. I think these two. Oh, I think that these two are my favorites from swatches. But we'll see. We'll see when I do my own swatches which ones I like. So I'm gonna start with Say Say because that's the one I grabbed. This is a very dark ink, and I purchased these samples from Vaness Pens. Um, I think some of the other ones, I don't know if they're all from Van Ness or not, I don't remember. I think most of them are, if not all of them. Van Ness is usually where I get my ink samples from because they're very generous with their ink samples. They're uh, usually around 4 mil. Um, this is, oops, Say Say. I'm going to get a little more ink on the pen. I think what I'll actually do is I'll probably write the other name on the back so I still have the usual amount of swatching room. And I'm gonna shake, I think all of these fairy tale inks are shimmers. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up before I swatch it. very pretty. It looks kind of bluish gray in the vial, but it's going down kind of black. I don't know what color it's actually supposed to be. This swatch card's kind of... So yeah, it does look like a really dark... It even turned the water kind of like a tealy blue-black, but... Yeah, fun. Fun, fun, fun! Oh, this is so pretty. It's like a sort of a, I don't know, it's pretty. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. It's a very pretty shimmer though. Um, one thing though on Vinta uh, shimmer inks is that they're very, the shimmer is very, I want to say loose. Um, because if, I don't know if this particular shimmer formulation is like my previous experience with Vinta inks, but the shimmer like wipes away very easily. And I, I kind of call it like eyeshadow ink because, or eyeshadow shimmer, because it wipes away so easily. And if you have a load of it, like you literally, it'll look like you have um, eyeshadow on your finger. Um, next we have uh, Lack Bay. <laughs> I 
again from Fan Nuts Pens. I can tell that I did not. I got ink on the ink on the section. The shimmer, at least the particular shimmer color with this ink, kind of make it look dirty, in my opinion. I don't know if you can see what I mean about it looking dirty. It looks kind of like this blue with rust or something because of the shimmer color. It's a very pretty pink shimmer on this pretty dusty blue. Kind of like a sky blue color. Very pretty. the paper again. It's very absorbent paper, but I don't want to take any chances. Okay, next up we have, oops, Pag Tangi. Oh, I didn't write. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Did not write the ink stuff down. Oh, that's so pretty. This is such an interesting color. Next up we have Lacambini. I know that I'm saying these incorrectly, I'm sorry. This color is so pretty. Really nice shading. This is a terrible, I hate when my pen doesn't work. It's cause it has like a sweet spot sort of, so. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up again cause the shimmer starting to settle. I'm very much looking forward to 30 inks, 30 days. I'm going to move this a little because my computer is very close and this brush handle is very long. My um, computer, you, you can see it right here. Um, my computer is, I've got um, 
So when I work, I watch Twitch streams and I have my laptop precariously sitting on two bottles of ink. <laughs> and I have a friend's stream on right now. Um, it's my friend that's so clumsy, actually. She is um, currently streaming Witcher 3 and Sekiro. So if you like either of those games, you should give her a follow. I'll link her in the description box below. She's an awesome streamer. Very kind, very nice, very funny. Alright. And last but not least, this beautiful purple, Celine Bay. And actually, that was the last of the loose cards, so I have to get my a few more cards out. I think we're gonna have time to do some of the ones from the from the bag, so that will be very exciting. And then I need to go eat lunch. I'm going to shake this up again because I've been letting it sit. Pretty. I'm missing one of my um. I'm missing one of my brushes like this that uh, really soaks up the ink. I like the way the ink applies from these. Oh, I think I see it actually. I remember using it during one of the thirty ink swatches, and then I couldn't find it, and now I see that it's sitting right here on my table. So never mind, crisis averted. The shade of purple is really pretty. It's like a, a bluish purple. Okay, so let's look at these. I mean, this one isn't dry yet, so maybe we'll wait. We'll wait. But they're very pretty. They definitely all kind of go together. I'll show you. Here's the paper towel I was blotting the um, paintbrush on before I stuck it in the water. So you have this brownish, blackish one. And then this is Lock Bay, which was that sky blue one. This is that gray, the Pag Tan Pag Tangi. This is the pink Wakam Beanie. And then Saloon Bay. Again, I apologize for my voice. It's part of the like congestion. I basically, like I said, my COVID experience has basically felt like having a cold. Um, over the weekend I was kind of really tired. But, yeah. So let's see, I have this single ink that's in a baggie. So I guess we'll, we'll play with that one. It's a yellow, it's from Scribo. It's a uh, Giallo Canella, and I forget what that translates to. Actually, I can look it up right now. Actually, I could have looked up those other ink names too, because my computer right here. Oh, I thought I gave like a translated name for it, but it doesn't. It just says that. But it's this beautiful like golden yellow color, which again, you know yellows aren't my thing usually, but this one it looks like it's one that will fit into yellows that I like. So it looks like it's possibly legible. It looks like, um, uh, it looks like it'll probably have some good shading. It's on the it's on the more golden side, which again I think makes it legible. So I think that I will like it. 
This is a Scribo. Giallo. Cano. Let's do a Google Translate because I know that's Italian. I think it's Italian. Is it, is it Italian? Cinnamon yellow is what it translates to. It's a fitting name, I think. It's actually a lot more like orangey brown than I thought it would be. So I don't actually know that this would be one that I would kind of like, but it's definitely an interesting color. I thought it'd be more yellow than it is, and it's definitely like a, I think it's a little more brown. I have like totally missed an entire spot, which bothers me. There. Fixed it. Fixed it. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it's completely dry, but that's a pretty color. Not my usual jam for sure, but very pretty. Very pretty. Okay. Let's see what else I have in here. I know I have some Robert Alster inks. I have some Fairful Press. I have some Pannonias. Let's see. I have some more IWIs. This is Dusty Rose from Conklin. I think we'll do that one. What else we got? What else we got in here? We have a shimmer from, I think it's a shimmer, yeah. A shimmer from Kyono Oto. I have a couple of facial press. Oh, and I wanted to do this. I think we'll do, we'll see, we'll do these next five and see see where we end up if we have time to do the rest of these because I have so much ink to swatch like I can it's fine we'll be good okay we're gonna start with this Conklin dusty rose I did the Conklin vintage purple last um last um 30 inks which I was kind of on the fence about but as I use it I really like it after the it sits in the pen that I had it in I had it in my um Jinhao X750 and when it first comes out of the pen after it's been sitting a while the color is a lot darker and I like that shade but uh, Conklin I think it's Dusty Rose Dusty Rose. I really like this color. I'm glad I tried this one. It fits into that like black tongue spider orchid sort of family. Arabian Rose, that kind of thing. Uh, from Private Reserve. So definitely, a, this is definitely a, an ink in my color, in my favorite color wheelhouse. Ooh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. We'll see how it writes. Um, I'll have to get this in a pen sometime soon. Because I know that the Conklin, the vintage purple, had some feathering issues on some papers. Oops. Is that cat hair? Is that a cat hair or is that just the card? No, it looks like a cat hair. It was. That, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That is one that I need to get into a pen as soon as possible. Maybe I'll do that today. We'll ink a pen. Even though it's only a few days before 30 ink starts. 
I've been cleaning out all of my pens. I've been taking my lunch breaks. I have been spending my lunch breaks uh, cleaning pens <laughs> the last few, the last few um, weeks, um, which has been fun. I want to get as few pens, or as, I want to have as few, I want to start June with as few pens as possible. Because usually I have like a ton of them inked up and then I ink up 30 pens throughout the month. Um, this is Ferrisville Press. Wonderland of Coral. This was part of the set that um, Peter Moss and that storied blue. I forget what the set's called, but it was part of that set. I used Sor storied blue last month in 30 inks. So these are the other two inks. I actually have the Fashion District set that's in the other room. I didn't grab it. Um, I have that set to swatch as well. I'm telling you, I have so much ink to swatch, y'all. So much ink. I think I have some more Conklin inks too in my in these bags right here. So this is a shimmer ink. So it's this coral color. And then I think it's like a silvery shimmer. I'm not sure what the shimmer is supposed to be. Not really probably a color that I would gravitate towards. I think the sample will be more than enough for my purposes. I can't tell what color this... I'm not sure if the shimmer is like champagne color or silver color. Looks like it's silvery. It's pretty. If you like coral colors, you're going to maybe love this. Maybe. Maybe. Then we'll do Peter Moss. I've been wanting to try this ink. It's the one I've been most excited about out of that whole set. And I have just had it sitting here for months. Not swatched it, not gotten it in a pen. This would look really nice in that Kaveco olive green, I think. Very pretty. Super pretty olivey green ink. I can tell just in the text that it probably uh, looks like it's gonna have nice shading. I'm excited to get that in a pen. It's the most exciting thing about getting to swatch these inks is now I can use them. <laughs> Next up we'll do another shimmer. This is, um, I think it's a limited edition from Kyono Oto. I don't know if these are limited editions or part of the, um, part of the, uh, collection. This is Ginkai Sioku, Ginkai Sokyu. I'm probably butchering that. I got it because I like the dusty shade of the um, base color. This like dusky blue gray. I wanted to paint my room that color. 
and it's not allowed to, but I think it'd be pretty. So pretty. Gorgeous. I really like this kind of shade of like dusty gray blue. Can't wait to see what it looks like fully dried. You can kind of see some of the shimmer maybe. I don't know if you can see it. It's very subtle in the writing. Next up, we have a Laban ink. Um, I think this is maybe the only one that I haven't swatched yet. Um, it's this pink color that I think is really pretty. I was very curious about it when I ordered it. So, and then we started getting the Laban inks in ink lights. And I picked up a couple on my own. And I think that, I think this is the only one of their inks that I haven't swatched yet. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but. I think I've swatched all the rest of them. Either through Ink Flight or because I already had them. Now I thought this was going to be like a lighter pink. But I guess not. I guess it's more like dusty and dusky. Either that or it sat too long, but I don't think so. I haven't had it that long. ink was pink pink though. I'm a little confused. I'm going to need to look it up. Because this does not look like I was envisioning. But it's got some pink pink right there. This is darker. It's darker than I thought it was going to be pretty like I thought it was going to be a more like pinky shade like this like a cooler pinky shade this is this is warmer than I thought it would be pretty it's definitely pretty all right what's my time limit what's my time check Okay, got about 10 or 15 minutes, so I think we can do a few more. I'm just going to grab it random out of the bag. We have IWI, Color of Nature, Cold to Dew. We're going to get to, we're going to get to compare a lot of these like icy blues, I guess. Oh, this one's kind of greenish. Okay, um, this is I W I of Nature, and it is called Cold Dew. That's kind of green. I thought it'd be more of a the sky this like sky blue because of the text on the label, but this actually has some green in it. 
a dusty green instead. like a greenish gray it's pretty it does have some feathering though on the coloring card which I'm not a fan of oh this is pretty though it's drying really light I kind of like it I think I know somebody who will like this ink a lot okay let's do another one Next up, we have another IWI, Slate Cold. Did I? I don't think I did this in 30 inks. I know that I, ha I had a few, but I think they were all... I don't think any of them were purples. Slight cold. This this is this is a good purple. In my personal opinion. I'm sorry. I'm like this camera setup is all jacked up. So pretty, so so pretty. Beautiful purple. Beautiful purple. Okay, what time is it now? Okay, it only is like five minutes. This goes really fast, or it goes faster when I don't talk the whole time. I have four more inks, so we might as well just go ahead and do the rest of these in this bag. I mean, I have way more than four more inks, but of the ones that I wanted to try to get through today, I have four more. This isn't the set, but this is kind of what that set looks like. This blue is not the right blue. I'll move some of these that are drier out of the way. I'm just looking at some of these. Very pretty. Very pretty. I love playing with ink. I actually have a cart going at Van Ness, and I think I started another one at Yoseka, and I'm like, I don't need any more inks. I'm not allowed to buy any more ink until I get through the inks that I have to swatch. I've decided. Whether I'll stick to that plan is a whole other story, but I've decided. I haven't been buying a whole lot, actually. Um, I got those grips. A couple like that I posted a video about last week or whatever um, but that's about it um, the ink that we're swatching right now is Robert Oster Muddy Crown
like a pretty purple. Very pretty. Uh, next up we have Muddy Swamp, which is another one of the, from that same set, I think. There was a whole set of like muddy colors. I didn't get all of them, just ones I thought I'd be interested in. So basically the purple, this grayish color, I think. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm very excited to eat lunch. My lunch is not that exciting. It's just um, chips and salsa and maybe a fried egg sandwich, but I've been craving both of those things for a while now. And I'm happy to make, ooh, hello. I'm happy to make that happen for myself. <laughs> that's pretty at least in the in the wet form we'll see what it looks like dry but pretty so pretty okay two more inks we um have a Pannonia ink and another Robert Oster this is Blue River I want to say this is an exclusive for Vanos, but I'm not certain. I it could have just been a blue that I wanted to try. I'm not sure. Um, I don't remember. Robert Oster Blue River The bright crystal clear blue. I think I got this because I wanted to see how Lamy Pacific it was. And um, Lamy Pacific is definitely like more turquoisey. This looks like it has nice shading though. Pretty. I don't think that's a blue that I'll get much use out of. I like darker blues. But I got to try it. The next one is this Pannonia ink that I am not going to try to pronounce because I did not look it up ahead of time. We're just going to swatch it. I want to say this is like one of the uh, jewel shady sort of inks, but it could be wrong. I just tend to get... Um, oh yeah, this is definitely weird. I tend to get Pannonia inks whenever Van Ness gets new ones in because I think they're interesting inks. And I like to try to figure out how, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna say it. I want to say it's supposed to translate to like champagne or something like that.
I remember correctly. I could look it up my computer's right here, but I've got swatch cards sitting on top of it now, and I don't want to mess those up. But this definitely looks interesting. Definitely a very light ink, probably not one that I will get a lot of use out of, but again, happy for the swatching opportunity. All right, I'm gonna let these dry and um, I will come back in a few moments. Well, it'll be seconds for you, but it'll probably be a few minutes for me. I'm gonna go eat lunch and then come back and we will show off the dried swatches. So I look forward to um, seeing you again in just a moment. Hi everybody, it's Amanda and we are going to um, check out our dried swatches. I'm not really doing these in any particular order just because I messed up the order that I did them in. Um, but here we have, this is the last one we did. This is like a interesting ink. One I don't know that I will get a lot of use of. Um, however, yeah, we'll probably see it in a 30 inks or something. Um, because I, like I like to do things in 30 inks. Sometimes I like to use my favorites, but I also like to do um, inks that I wouldn't normally use or, like, inks I wouldn't, like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I like to do favorites, but also inks that I think are interesting, and I think that's interesting. So we have Muddy, Muddy Swamp from Robert Oster. Blue River. I'm going to save that for later for later get some of these uh robert osters here's muddy crown i really like this one i you know it's a dusty purple of course i like it um then we have the slight cold then we have cold dew which is a gray like sort of a greenish sort of gray interesting color interesting color let's see let me fit some more in then we have that Kyono Oto Shimmer Ink. It does weird things on the ink swatch, kind of like, I don't know if it's a pigment ink, but it, it applied to the card like it is, sort of. But it has this pretty um, silver shimmer. It's not like in your face, but it's definitely there. Hopefully you can see it. I can't tell on the camera. Um, then we have that Laban Aphrodite, which is this... I thought it was going to be a pinker pink than it is, so I don't know if my sample was mislabeled or contaminated or if I just need to look at it again. Or maybe it just wasn't what I expected. That's also acceptable. Um, then we have that Scribo Giallo Canelo, which is a beautiful sort of brownish yellow color. Um, also, I was thinking this was going to be a little more brighter. Uh, reminds me a little bit of Sailor Maryland. A slightly ver lighter version of Sailor Maryland. Let's see that, that. Then we have um, a Ferris wheel press Peter. Whoops, Peter Moss. Oh my gosh, my um, charger fell down and took the camera with it. Okay, sorry about that. So you have uh, Ferris wheel press Peter Moss. I really like this, although it kind of looks nice in the in in this sort of order. Then we have that Conklin Dusty Rose that I cannot wait to get into a pen. And Ferris Hill Press Wonder, Wonderland of Coral, which is probably not an ink I will use very much either, but I'm glad I got it to swatch it. The shimmer, it's a pretty even dose of shimmer all around, so pretty cool. Um, so that is the inks that were not the Vinta Ink set. I'm going to move these out of the way and then we'll we'll see the Vinta Inks Fairy Tale set. Um, yeah, obviously I like I like these three. Um, yeah, these three are probably my favorites. Also, I really like this uh, this gray one. It's kind of interesting. I don't like the feathering on it, so I would need to try it in a pen. Um, yeah, and I love this, I love this, um, olivey green, this Peter Moss color. Beautiful. Beautiful! Um, okay, so let's go ahead and look at the rest of them. Move these out of the way. Uh, 
All right, and then we have the fairy tale series. We have um, Vint Ink's Say Say, which if you load it on enough, seems to have a black sheen on it. This is a sort of black ink with this um, silvery shimmer. I don't know if it's, it kind of looks silver, but also kind of looks blue. So I don't know if it's like a ice cold blue shimmer or what. It's pretty subtle in the swatch, um, except where it pulled up here. Oh, there you can see it better. And then it's in the scribble pretty well too. Interesting ink. Actually, I want to try something. Now it's not, I have shimmer from some of the other swatches, but this one's really not coming off that much. So I don't know, maybe they're using a different shimmer um, formula, I'm not sure. And then we have Vint Inks Black Bay which I'm sure I'm saying that incorrectly, which is this sky blue color with this rose gold pinky shimmer. Um, I have, um, the, there's a navy ink that has like this color shimmer in it and it's really pretty, but in this, and in, in this lighter shade of blue, it kind of like if the light hits it just right, it looks, it mostly just looks dirty, which I don't care for. Um, then we have Vint Inks Lock and Beanie, Beanie which is this, beautiful pink with this gold shimmer again if the light hits it in just the right angle it mostly looks dirty but um this is a very pretty pink color I like the shade of gold with this pink reminds me of a like sort of a more legible um version of julia then we have this beautiful grayish it's like a pinky blue gray sort of color with this um I'm not sure if it's bronze or like a champagne shimmer, but very pretty. I love the base color. I think it's really nice. And then this uh, purple with this pink shimmer. Celine Bay. Very pretty. So this is the fairy tale series. I kind of like all of these. Probably my least favorite is this one, mostly because the shimmer makes it look dirty, like I said. Um, yeah, I really love this one, and I really love this one, and I really love the purple. The pink is also great, um, but yeah. Yeah, so that's, those are our inks for today. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know when we'll be seeing these in pens because we have 30 inks coming up in about five days. So I don't want to ink too many pens up, but I do want to get that dusty rose, that Conklin dusty rose. I really want to get that in a pen. So I might throw it in a, in a mini or something. Or maybe a Kaveco since that has a really small ink capacity. So yeah. Like I said, hope that you enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, I'll see you again very soon with 30 Inks 30 Days. Um, I maybe have a pen video going up before then. I have one that I recorded back before I knew I was sick, like before I was like, knew I had COVID anyway. I had like a cold still, but um, yeah. Anyway, like I said, hope you enjoyed this video. Are there any of these inks that stand out to you that you thought um, you'd like? Um, yeah. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.